We integrate philanthropy into our culture through the passion and causes of our people. We had a great opportunity at our new headquarters to engage City High School students on two butterfly garden projects. Our organization has tried to extend our service beyond MCIE to those who live with less. And so a uh, few times we've looked at other organizations that serve people who are homeless. One of the foundational elements of our Remarkable Client Service Program is people, and therefore we have an internal mission to create opportunities for people so that they can demonstrate their philanthropy in the communities that they live and work in. Most nonprofit boards expect their board members to support their organization through special events. Well, at the National Kidney Foundation of Maryland, we have that expectation as well. But in addition to supporting our special events, our board members are also expected to participate in an annual leadership campaign drive that we conduct. People might be surprised to learn that I say the Hail Mary every morning in French. Some people would be surprised to know that I'm developing my drawing skills and want to learn watercolor. My family would be surprised to know that I don't, in fact, work in my sleep. People would be surprised to know that when I was 21 years old and first married, I had difficulty finding a job, so I sold Kirby vacuum cleaners door to door in Midwestern cities. I think people would be surprised to learn that I lived in Japan for four years. I love living there. I love the people. I love the food. I love learning how to cook the food, dishes from making sushi and sashimi to cooking skiaki dinners and everything in between. I think the best piece of advice I've received is to not pity and not provide charity, that even people who have needs ultimately want to be accepted, respected for who they are despite any differences or circumstances that they're in. I find myself surrounded by individuals who are full of wisdom and perspective. And the reason is because I tend to not take advice very well. I like to learn from experiences. As a manager and leader, not to be afraid to acknowledge your own weaknesses and then to ensure that you're hiring to overcome those weaknesses with your staff. The best piece of advice I've ever received is from a beloved mentor. Never resist a generous impulse.